Hello guys, if you are using Salesforce and you would like to optimize actually the work of your agents, what you could do is you could enable such a good kind of uh, optimization tool in Salesforce with the name Quick Text. So it will allow you to see the following icon near with some, uh, let's say, text areas in Salesforce and what you will be able to do from there, you will be able to use some kind of, uh, let's say, quick text pieces, text snippets with some already predefined formulas, with some already predefined merge fields and so on and so forth items that will allow you to quickly speed up the work of your agents. So for example, if I am on the case and I would like to quickly send the mail to my customers that I just need to get more information, I will be able to just quickly click here, right? Find troubleshooting email, push it into the mail email body and just sit. It will allow me to speed up, uh, speed up work of my agents. So how it could be actually configured in Salesforce? To do so, we will need to go to Setup, find the specific options related to the Quick Text with name Quick Text Settings. We will need to make sure that the following Enable Quick Text option is enabled. And if for any reason you would like to have a structure using the folders for the quick text, we could uh, do so with the following checkbox. So we, in our case, it could be related to situation we, when we have different departments, when we have different countries, when we would like to, let's say, separate it via uh, channels or separate it via service or sales or different kind of uh, those kind of topics, right? So once it's done and you enabled your quick text settings, we could go to the object manager, find a uh, quick text object right from there. We will need to go to the page layout. And from the page layout, once we enabled our folder um, structure, we will need to make sure that the folder field is added to the page layout. So once it's done, and if for any reason we would like to have additional categories related to our object, and by default it will be a greeting, FAQ, and closing, we would like to add additional to there, like for example, add uh, email or whatever categories we will use for our um, quick text. So once it's done, object is available, settings are enabled, what we could do is we could jump to the actual uh, quick text uh, item records. And from there, what we could see is that we have possibility to create folders. So for example, I am already created some test folder. There are nothing hard, we just specify in the name. And once it's done, what we could do from there is we could click on share. From the sharing option, what we could specify is with whom and what kind of sharing settings we would like to apply. So at the moment, we have possibility to specify users, roles, role and subordinates, and public groups. So if you would like to, for example, you could organize two public groups. One of them will have you access to your quick text and another one will have, let's say, edit or manage access to your items. So for example, if I will specify some uh, public group, I will specify like all internal users should have view access to this specific uh, quick text folder. I could do it from there. But don't forget if you will do so, click on the share button to here so it will add additional items uh, to the list below. So once it's done, you have your folder prepared, you have sharing set up, you could jump into the, your actual folder and from there you could specify uh, necessary templates that you would like to use. So you just click on the new quick text. Um, you could specify whatever uh, name you would like to have. And from there you could see we have possibility to use merge fields from the different objects. And it's pretty simple for us to reuse it, right? So, for example, if we would like to specify some user information or provide the case number or so on and so forth, so we could use it quickly with the merge fields. And also one more important note that we could use formulas uh, expressions here. So, for example, at this moment, I just would like to use the following uh, quick text. And I would like to specify just the mail categories that I've added into the already existing standard pick list and from there what I need to do else is I have a list of channels and I need to specify into the what specific messaging channel I would like this specific quick text to be available so at the moment I specify that it will be available for email for task and chat and once it's done I need to specify and confirm my folder that I'm just creating doing so and one more important note from here is that we have this preview option 
from the preview what we could do is we could specify what kind of our recipient will be right and what is our related to object so in our case if we will use a case we could specify necessary case so when we will click on the preview button we will be able to see how it's actually look like and our agents will be able to make sure that any kind of let's say template that they just prepared based on the testing data actually looking good and there will be no problem for us to use it so once it's done and we could see that our quick text piece is looking good we could just save it into the our folder and later when we will jump back to our case we'll jump to the feed we'll click on compose and we will use this quick text so we will be able to specify this test 3 item right from there because it's recent if you don't know how to actually jump to the list of all folders from there you could select all find our folder and from there you will be able to specify that we would like to use test 3 and as you could see here as well all necessary merge fields are actually just um, completed and uh, as one of use cases what could be done with uh, use of this uh, if you remember on the one of uh, our past video uh, we shared that uh, we have this option insert articles into the email right and if your articles contain somebody it uh, will be inserted here so at the moment uh, you will be able to actually use combination of those two cool features right or what you will be able to do if you will have your public um, knowledge articles available and you will want to ask on frequently asked questions uh, right from the quick text you will be able to just provide the link prepare a necessary text snippet and use it right from there one more important item that I would like to share at the end it's usage of permission sets so if you will need to have two different categories of users one of them will be able to uh, create with uh, quick text items delete them manage or something and you will need to have different permission set to actually let's say provide read access to the specific uh, let's say quick text pieces in the system so you will be able to just specify it with the CRUDs so CRUDs will actually identify who will be able to read who will be able to update or delete uh, your items in the system so if you will need to modify the actual object that additional like list values or so on and so forth you will need to provide to those users customized application permission in your permission set or sometimes it's uh, in general uh, necessary to be available for all agents in your organization and all of, if all of them using the same uh, profile so you will be able to specify those scratch on the profile of the agent so this cool feature will be automatically available so at this moment that's all from my side and thank you very much